Well, I'm delighted to be joined by Roger De Pasco, who is the Global Managing Director of uh, Shopper Communications at WPP's uh, Red Fuse Agency, which is a team agency for Colgate Palmolive. Roger, thanks very much indeed uh, for joining us. Um, this, I've got to say, is the best time ever to be involved in retailing shopper marketing. There is an uh, aspect of it that isn't changing. There isn't a technology that's not being enabled within uh, the process. Um, for anybody coming into the industry at this time, uh, it, it's tremendous. You've been working in the uh, retail and shopper marketing area for a large number of years. How did you first get involved in, the, in this black art? <laughs> Well, I had started my career in traditional advertising targeted towards consumers doing very traditional ads, TV commercials, radio commercials, outdoor billboards, and, and so forth. And I'd done that for a couple of years and was then approached by a senior executive in the agency I was at who said, we're starting a new kind of agency and it's going to focus heavily on retail communications targeted towards shoppers. And sounded like a pretty good idea. I have to admit, at the time, I wasn't uh, like ridiculously gung-ho excited about it, but it seemed like something to try. And as it turns out, that was uh, almost 20 years ago, and I think it was the best decision I ever made in my life in terms of my career, uh, as things just rocketed from that, that point forward, and uh, the world that you described with uh, ever-changing retail, aided by technology and so forth, has just taken off tremendously. And uh, I've rode that wave. And, that became my career. And, and I suppose people are contemplating a career in this area. Why should they do it? <laughs> to me, it just comes down to a good career journey. If you think about everything that the world of retail and shopper marketing involves, uh, you know, it will give you everything that you need for a strong, exciting career. So, uh, you know, for example, things like um, cross-functional experience. In retail and shopper marketing, whether you are on the retailer side or the manufacturer side or you're with a solutions provider such as an agency or a consultancy, you're always collaborating with other functions. So, for example, when I service our, our client, Colgate Palmolive Company, we're working with marketing, with sales, or as they say, customer development, but you're also interacting with insights, data and analytics, and even departments such as legal and finance and so forth. So it all comes together and you have to learn how to, to, how to collaborate. So I'd say that strong cross-functional experience is the, the first uh, benefit. The second benefit is the fact that you actually work with retailers. I think in uh, a lot of brand marketing positions or agency positions working on brands, you don't always get to work with the retailers. And I think that gives you a, a good uh, dose of reality, right? When uh, the retail realities hit you smack in the face. I think that's really good experience to understand uh, all of those things around uh, that are underneath a brand, like the product and the product assortment and the pricing and the profitability and so forth. I'd also say that, um, Last but not least, you get this experience, real world experience in omni-channel marketing in, in today's world. Uh, you know, so whether you are working across different retail environments or channels, you, you know, experiences with hypermarkets, supermarkets, drug stores, traditional trade, mom and pop stores, club stores, et cetera, you really get to see uh, all the different kinds of channel of, of retail. And then from a communication standpoint, whether you're communicating to shoppers, in stores with signs, displays, experiences, mobile communications, uh, and, and so forth, uh, or uh, you know, via e-commerce sites and other kinds of digital communications targeted towards shoppers, from email blasts to uh, mobile coupons, et cetera, et cetera. You're, you're getting this experience in a real world kind of way that you don't always get in other aspects of, of marketing or agency. So, so what advice would you give people who are contemplating uh, a career in this space? I would say be prepared. Uh, you need to uh, be prepared to collaborate. It goes to that whole point about cross-functionality. Uh, and collaboration is key for this complicated marketing world that we live in. Uh, secondly, I would say uh, be prepared to work fast. China speed, as we've been yeah. discussing. <laughs> 
I think that's going to be the new mantra for everybody now. You've got to go, go China's beef. Yeah. Exactly. Uh, you know, you, you have to work fast. You need to iterate. You need to you know, constantly reassess what you're doing so you can move things from good to great or improve campaigns or programs year over year if you're anniversarying them. Um, I would also say that you need to be prepared to travel. Uh, retail is influenced by, in so many different ways by so many different places around the globe. Uh, most notably China, where you're starting to see uh, innovations in retail and commerce start, start to go to other parts of the world. But even in developing countries, in emerging markets, you know, I've seen great ideas come from uh, countries in Africa that you, know, you would never think are going to inspire ideas in Latin America or Europe and so forth. So um, if you can get into the world of retail and shopper marketing uh, in a multinational or international global way, uh, you're, you're, going to, you're going to see a lot, you're going to learn a lot, and you're going to have fun. Finally, um, looking back at uh, the few years that you've been working in this space, what's your most uh, uh, career rewarding experience that you've had? Maybe a campaign you worked on or a, uh, success in a particular area or a problem you correct? You know, it, it's, it's um, the answer to that question to me is something that gets back to the very first reason why I entered the marketing industry through advertising. And, you know, it may sound corny, but it's just I, I love the idea of marketing being able to suck money out of someone's wallet. I just always found that fascinating that you can convince somebody to part with their money based on, at the time, advertising communications. But what I found most satisfying about the retail and shopper world is that you can relate that withdrawal of the money so much better or sharper in the world of retail and shopper marketing. So to me, I just love it when the cash register rings. To me, uh, you know, what, whatever category or product I'm working on, watching the sales get made, hopefully a profitable sale, but sales and profitability, watching that happen, is is great. Roger, many thanks. Thanks very much for talking to us. You're welcome. Great.